Yeah. I've come back again to do another review on a saris.com product. Um, you may have seen my video that I did before where saris.com provided me with a sari and um, I reviewed it and did a tutorial with it. Thank you so much for all of you who went over to their website and bought some items using the discount code that they provided. They contacted me again as a result and said that they were so happy with the review um, and the response that you gave them. That, um, that this time that they would wanted me to send a outfit for them to review. So they, I haven't been paid for this review, but I have been provided the outfit free of charge. Lots of you have been asking about the sari that I did in the previous review. Now I have been liaising with the company to try and find out where the link is because it did disappear. And it's because the item's been discontinued. No other explanation. Don't know whether it's just not been made anymore or whether they're just not able to get any more in um, or they just decided not to stock it, but that sari is now unavailable. So I've got a new outfit, it's here in this box. I don't know what it is or what it looks like. The lady that contacted me um, sent me a link of, link of the item but I didn't look at it, I just, um, I just wanted a total surprise when it came. So I've got it here. All I've needed to do is provide her with measurements. Now because we've had an email exchange, I haven't gone through the regular ordering process. So I didn't see the form that gave me all the measurements that I needed to provide. But because I've done internet shopping before a long, long time ago, I knew kind of what measurements I needed to provide. So um, I've given her all the measurements I think she'll need and she did come back to me with regards to the measurements across the shoulder. I had given her a measurement of about 18 or 19 inches um, and she said usually for my bust size it would be about 14 inches and then when I went to measure it again I, I found that it was actually 15 inches so somewhere along the line I got that wrong and that was something they picked up they didn't just make it according to the measurements they provided they, they did have a common sense approach to that which is really good because it would be awful if it didn't sit right on the shoulders okay so I'm going to unbox this now no. Right, so I've got the outfit in the box here and it's really great that it's consistent packaging. Um, I have opened just the top lid here just to make it easier while it's on camera. So I took off the sellotape and then I couldn't resist anymore. So I had a little peek in and you can see that it's a red outfit. That's all I know. I haven't seen anything else of the outfit. It's red and gold. I can see some gold in it. Here we go. So it looks like it's net and it's gold. It's got lots of panels in it. Look, can you see these panels? So I think it's an anarchy. Now the measurements I gave, she did ask me um, what kind of cut and fit do I, do I like? And I had just said, make the sleeves whatever length you like, make the cut whatever way you like, make the bottoms whatever way you like. I wasn't gonna be fussy for something that was gonna be free. So here we go, I'm going to let it go. So I can see immediately it's got, I think, um, sleeves to the elbow. And it is an anarchy. Oh, no, it's not an anarchy, but it's cut like an anarchy. It's like a short anarchy style. It's on brocade and net. So then it's also got a um, juridar. Juridar is like a pyjama, very tight to the legs. That's in red cotton, and then it's got a net stole, dupatta. This is like a blood red one. So that it might be a little bit short that I'm used to wearing, and um, lately I've been wearing long anarchies, so it's nice to have something that's um, a little bit short size. I think it would just go below my knees, but I've got to put it on. Um, it's been very, very, very well made, and I love the colour. It's nice and simple, not a lot of embroidery on it, um, and it's very lightweight, which is good. Okay, the, the fabric has been cut very, very neatly. It's been very, very neatly stitched. You can see that the trim is also very well done. You can see that the trim is very well hem stitched. The skirt is underlined and the quality of fabric is really good as well. It's not a thin one, it's quite a nice, soft, but um, opaque enough um, underlining so, so that, you know, modesty is kept intact at all times.
You can see that these buddhis were put in after the dress was made, so this looks like a complete custom and bespoke piece for me. And you can tell that because the threadwork goes right the way through. But they're very well knotted in and very well secured in. I've got outfits where um, they're really well embellished on the front and they've got a border on the front but when you turn it around although you don't expect to see embellishments on the back you at least expect to see a continuation of the border um, this piece though has got the embellishments on the front where you expect them to be um, not on the back which is where you expect them not to be so you don't really want any embellishments at the back anyway but um, they've continued with the same fabric on the um, back so you've got the nice beautiful brocade here you've got the um, gold border at the back here and you, they've continued with the, the, the red brocade at the bottom and I know with my particular outfit that I've got that I had made in Dubai it was, cost a lot of money they had a beautiful embroidered flower border here and then all I got was a piece of purple patch at the back and that just doesn't look finished so I'm really glad that they've got this one now my concern with this particular piece is that it's got to go over my head I've tried to look for a concealed zip but there's no zip and there's no hooks so um, I'm always a little bit weary about outfits that go over my head although they fit perfectly most times and they, they, they it does make for a better and snugger fit and I know with zips you do get a little sort of puffed out um, pouch but um, this one doesn't have it so I'm a little bit worried whether it will fit but I'm not panicking because I've seen that they've got um, a good amount of seam that I could open if I needed to so I'm just gonna so this is the seam that I'm going to show you now and you can see that it's about a one and a half inch seam this is this is the seam that's really important because if your if your outfit doesn't quite fit just needs a minor adjustment you could by hand or by machine just run another stitch alongside all the way down to to sort of around the hip area and up to the under the underarms and then you can remove this here to give you another two centimeters you've always you've always got this one here that is your final um uh, your final seam that you shouldn't open but you can go up to this seam if you needed to open it out um, by another inch uh, on either side so that'd be one inch here one inch on the back so that's two and then another two on the other side so this could be opened up by four inches if I needed to so the outfit went on fine I didn't have any issues getting it on it was a little bit tight around my bust and what I noticed was that um, I think the outfit has been made to the exact measurements that I supplied so with hindsight what I should have done was give a little bit um, maybe an inch or two on all of my measurements so that I can have a little bit of leeway of getting in and out of it but again that doesn't matter so much because I know that all I need to do is just undo a little bit here um, and I won't have any issues at all. As it is, I might need a little bit of help getting out of it. Um, I absolutely love the colour, I love the outfit, I love everything else about it. I wouldn't have normally have bought a size, um, you know, a gurta that is as short as this one, but Abdul behind the camera is saying that he loves it. That makes me think, oh, maybe I should buy some more. I've taken the dupatta off so that I can point something out to you. If you look at this area here, it just looks like it's one full piece. There's no definition around the bust. Now, I don't know whether that's because it's stretched across, um, because it's tight at the side, and maybe pulling out some of the seams will help um, give that definition back, or whether there needs to be something that's sewn in so that it looks a little bit more defined. So that's just something I wanted to point out to saris.com. So this outfit would retail at $62, which is 40 40 pounds some just below 40 pounds for an outfit that is custom made I think that's brilliant they do have voucher codes codes that I provided to you before have now expired but they have loads of offers on their website at the moment they've got like 40% off so do check out their website I'm going to put a link right in the bottom in the description bar below if you are viewing this video on any other medium other than YouTube then you'll need to click on the the link to go into YouTube to see those to see those details um, I am very happy with this outfit thank you very much saris.com for supplying it to me if you have any questions just leave me a comment below and I will ask saris.com on your behalf. 
If you like this review, please do subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. You're smiling, I'm smiling. Smiles are so contagious. Does it look okay? Yeah.